Well, renowned physicist Stephen Hawking is joining up with a Russian billionaire to search for one of the biggest questions, does alien life exist? Ooh. The two are launching a $100 million quest to search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Speaking at the launch of the project in London, Hawking said there was no bigger question than this. It's time to commit to finding the answer to search for life beyond Earth. We believe that life arose spontaneously on Earth. So in an infinite universe, there must be other occurrences of life. There must be. The world's most powerful telescopes would be aligned with some 9 million volunteers donating their spare computing power. The result would be a global supercomputer capable of scanning the skies using 10 billion different frequencies. Mm. Reading about this, I think the thing that struck me is just how little we're actually doing now to try to determine if there is life on other planets. Yeah, this is about it. This $100 million. Nobody is looking at this at all. What I think is really cool about this is that the public apparently will have complete access to everything that they do so kids in school could study it you know fans of space could you know look at this I think that's really neat do I think care? in terms well I think just even in terms of the amount of money that they're spending a hundred million dollars really isn't that much money when you look at the grand scheme of things look at the Viking Stadium costs look at how much money even <laughs> Leonardo billion. DiCaprio makes 72 million dollars in one year right so well, well, 100 million is it's, it's not that much I think people do care about this and here's why I think there have been uh, there's been a lack of things to kind of look up at the sky and really dream about since the space shuttle program was stopped there was there's talk of a flight to Mars but kind of there is something I think motivating for the wider society about things like seeing the pictures of Pluto. Right. And, and this idea, is there life out there? Like how exciting to be able to analyze all of this data that's coming in. And I think there's a romance about it. I think all of us have some way you know, thought about this and wondered right. and that some of this will be completely dedicated to this. I think it's really exciting. What they said is with this new funding, they will be able to do as much research in a day than they've been able to do in a year previously. It's just so amazing. This, it's leaps and bounds of what they're going to be able. But I do think there is this cultural shift now. After a long time of people trying to move mm -hmm. away from NASA, moving away to space uh, from space exploration, we've got the Pluto stuff going. Yeah. We've got this going. It, it does seem like the national conversation, at least here in the United States, is going more towards... Are there guys out there? Is there alien out there? You think? Absolutely. Absolutely, yeah. yes. Like <laughs> talking aliens? Like E.T. style yeah. aliens? What are we talking oh, about? Oh, exactly <laughs> like E.T. Reese's <laughs> Pieces and the whole bit. Who knows? Maybe uh, this will yeah. find it. You know, and although I do think that Stephen Hawking said that it's unlikely because, yep. you know, obviously there's been exploration with the Hubble telescope, but you never know. And that's that's why this is so interesting. What they said, it's a low probability they'll find alien life, but they'll find something they're not looking for, which yeah. is cool. Anything it's through that process that you learn, learn things, and who knows how that gets applied. Yeah. Well